Hello everyone, thank you for joining me again. So, we are in the season of spooky things and I thought today I could show you how to make a spooky old jack-o'-lantern Halloween lantern for your decorations in the house. And it's quite easy and quite quick. So what do we need to do this craft? Well, let's get this into the picture. And here we go. We are going to need some pumpkin colored papers. Any color you like that's pumpkin-y. Or if you want to make an old skeleton face, then you need white stiff paper or stiff card. We're going to need a pipe cleaner for the handle, but you don't have to. If you have strips of paper, if you kept all your snips, you might have strips of paper you can use. You're going to need a ruler and a pencil because we're going to be doing some measuring. You're going to need a black marker pen because we have to draw the scary old face. We're going to need our scissors. We're going to need something to poke holes with. I've got this handy clippy thing, but if you don't have it, you can use the tip of your scissors. Mom and Dad will have to help. This is sharp, pointy things. You don't want to poke your eyes out. You're going to need a stapler. And if you don't have a stapler, you can use some sticky tape. So what are we going to do? Let's make some space. Mustn't put my things too far away because I might yet need them. So, first of all, we draw a scary old face on our piece of card. Now, you have to be sure to leave a margin top and bottom because you need the top and the bottom of your lantern. So, for our next trick, we have to fold our image in half this way. So you have to fold it in half like that. Then we're going to use our ruler and we're going to measure the width of the top of our lantern here. And on the other side, we're also going to me measure the width of the base. And then we're going to measure a distance in here, because when we put our lantern together, it's going to overlap. So what I've done is I've given myself two and a half centimeters here and 2.8 uh, centimeters over here but you can measure it any way you're comfortable. And then in between those marks, because we've now measured the length and you can draw a wee line, and then we've measured the width and we draw a wee line on either side. And then we divide our face into strips and mine worked out at two centimeters at a time. And I will show you where I am now. So this is my piece of paper. So there's my two and a half centimeters, two and a half centimeters, 2.8 and then two, 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 two. Once it's folded over like this, you can just measure half of it and then use your trusty scissors to snip, 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 snip and cut all the bits out. So then you open it up there's your scary face and the next step is we turn it around so that the the broad strip we made overlaps with itself just like that and this is where we use our sticky tape or our stapler steady steady oops mine shifted you really don't have to be this precise the measuring police will not come for you. So, now that's fastened. And there's my lantern nearly done. All I need are two holes so that I can put my handle through it. 
and I'm just guessing, oh, sometimes this thing sticks. I'm just guessing where I want to be. One hole opposite the other hole, like that. And we use our pipe cleaner and we put it through the hole and just bend it back on itself. Now, do be careful because the ends of the pipe cleaner will be very sharp. And we go to the opposite end. And this one is not so easy because we have to just twizzle it by hand. And there you are. A spooky old jack-o'-lantern Halloween decoration for your home, your bedroom or your classroom. I hope you have fun making lots of these because you can change the faces any way you like. Do please send us in a photograph or a video clip of yourself having done these. Thank you so much for joining me again and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.